Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up, it's JoJo, and today, as the title says, I'm interviewing Jason Jeter. He was banned from all of Walt Disney World property. Now, I know what you're thinking, JoJo, you make a ton of Walt Disney World <laughs> videos. Why are you interviewing him? Because he is my friend, and he actually interviewed me on his channel a couple weeks back, but today, we're gonna learn a little bit more about his story and why he did what he did and where he is with his life now. With that being said, I agree with Disney for banning him. We both know this. Uh, he did some silly stuff and he's learned his lesson, but I won't spoil it. Let's get into the interview today and I just ask you guys to uh, have an open mind and don't send any hate comments towards him because at the end of the day, Jeet is my good friend. He's someone who has learned a lot from his experiences and I'm really proud of how far he's come. Well, this is a beautiful view of Universal Studios Orlando. This is where we're going to be interviewing Jeet. By the way, it's Thanksgiving right now, so we're feeling a lot of festivities tonight. Look at the red and green in the distance. I love it. Yo, Yo. I look so crisp in this. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, you're looking it's good. My oh yeah, I know. It's a little too crisp at yeah, times. Almost. But it's Jeet. Right when we're getting into Universal, always making new friends. What's your name? Arya. And? Christian. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Have you had a good day? Yeah. Wow. More friends. What's your name, buddy? Dude. Are you having a good day? Dude, we're like, I mean, take a look where the entrance is. Oh, yeah, you're oh hey. <laughs> we met three we people. We made it in here. Yeah. You've been stopped three times now. It's the holidays, man. Feeling good. Feeling good. You know what it is? You have an impact on people. Thanks, man. You do too. Thank you. And that's why we're doing this interview today, because at the end of the day, some people might not know the real you. Good point. My real name is Jason Thomas. And where are you from? New Albany, Indiana, the Midwest. So how did you even end up in Florida to begin with? Pretty simple. Disney. Came here for the Disney College program. Loved it. Got sent home because of COVID. And then you came back? Came back because I loved it so much. I was like, I have to work for Disney. So I came back when they were on a hiring freeze. I came back just like on the like the hope that eventually when I got back here, like they would start hiring. Yeah. So I work at SeaWorld for like a month or two. Before, like, I basically found out that France and Epcot was hiring. If you went to the bakery or like those stands outside France, that's where I used to work. Got you. I didn't know you back then. No. And then you when did you? I ran to Nate one time. Really? Hey, Jimmy, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are cool too. Yeah. Now yeah. We're yeah. Cool. So it's like, Buds. So then, when did social media begin? Social media began over the pandemic. Oh. But then it like took off once I started like working for Disney again in August when I worked for France. Interesting, and that's when it all began. That's when it all, like, I was like, whoa, I might be able to do this as like, a career. City Walk is looking great. You got Hard Rock Cafe in the distance. Excuse me, Jeet. Hey. What's up? You ready for another question in yeah. this very formal interview? Let's do it. What, what is got? your favorite roller coaster? I'm not a fan of roller coasters. I like rides, like our Disneyland videos. Yeah. Like Wind the Pooh, love that stuff. Ariel's Grotto, love that. Which is interesting. So you're not banned from Disneyland. Correct. This is a very good question that a lot of people ask me. I'm only banned from Florida property. So I can do Disneyland. I can do the cruises. I can do international. Hawaii. Hawaii. Paris. Paris. Shanghai. Shanghai. You should go to them. That's the plan. My plan is because I'm banned from Disney World, I want to go to all the Disneys around the world. That's crazy. I think I'm gonna make a documentary. What is your least favorite ride? here at Universal. Forbidden Journey, that's easy. You know what, Forbidden Journey is a 15 minute wait, let's go on it. No, I, I just don't, don't wanna do that one. <laughs> Last time I was at Universal, I went to Universal Studios for a media event that they had this out for. The Grinch was hilarious, but we haven't checked out the Christmas decorations at Island of Adventure, and so far, it's absolutely stunning. Do you like Christmas? I'm not a fan of Christmas. Ah. The holiday, I, mean, I love the season. Fair enough. What's your name? Alexia. And? Junior. Where are you guys from? Chicago. Chicago. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, happy Thanksgiving. Are you having a good evening? Yeah, yeah, we are. Okay, what's one thing you're gonna do for the rest of the night? What's your plan? Mm -hmm. Tough, I know. I'll go see the castle in Harry Potter land light up. Yeah, that's probably, awesome. Probably drink more butter beer. Mm, butter beer, which yeah. one though? Cold or hot? Cold. Ah, exactly. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's not a good one. This is hands down my favorite Christmas decoration in Islands of Adventure. It's, <laughs> it's, the, it's super animated. Cool, right? That is so sick. Yeah, you know what the sad thing is? What? Usually there's two. But the other one is just... Oh. This place is so beautiful at nighttime. Literally every attraction has Christmas decorations. One fish, two fish, has Christmas lights on it in the distance. We have suffered 
and sweated and cried over trying to get on these rides in the heat. Dude, it was rough. Yeah. And we can't do them anymore. Okay, they, hold on, hold on. I know why. We'll get to it. We, okay. You're skipping the interview. Okay, my bad, my bad. How do you feel about the cat in the hat ride, even though we've gone it plenty of times? It's nightmare fuel. You don't know think one thing too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you want to go on it? I mean, it's five minutes. Yeah, and it's uh, delaying the inevitable Harry Potter ride that you are going on. Oh. Always making new friends. What's your name? Dahlia. Dahlia, hello. Yeah. And you have a YouTube channel. What is it? My YouTube channel is Dahlia Charmony. With all that being said, our Uber has arrived. Look, and we saw him, the cat in the hat. Cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. Something new. Nightmare fuel right here. Oh my gosh, horrifying. <laughs> this room goes crazy. <laughs> this ride is, I don't know, I'm sorry. I was, I, that was supposed to be good for passing, but I, just, I can't say anything. <laughs> I always pick up my playthings. No, oh no, oh, I'm not right we here. got stopped. <laughs> oh no, he just winked well, at us. Look at We're us. stuck. Your mother Jeez. asked you. I feel like this is like what a nightmare is made out of, huh? We manifested a nightmare. <laughs> the one time we decided to go on this ride for fun. And we get stuck. Like right right at the end. Yeah, like the end's right over there. There's Dr. Seuss just chilling in the darkness. Well, we got stuck on there for a little bit, probably like five, ten minutes. And it well, kept playing the same music and over and over again. It's kind I of thought small world was bad. That was worse. That's way worse. Again, a ride that you haven't been on here, and you didn't even go on it in Disneyland, huh? Small World. We didn't. <laughs> we messed oh, up. We never went Small World. I know. We'll have to go back. Hopefully okay. soon. We should yeah. go for Christmas. They have a whole Christmas overlay. Hey, don't tempt me. Uh, listen. I told Alan. Did you go to college? I did. I actually graduated. Oh, nice. Like Congratulations. Last, thank you. Like last semester, I got a degree in communications. Okay. Strategic communications, not just communications. Strategic. The cat in the hat Christmas tree is looking amazing. I have to come back and do the holiday tree hunt with some friends. Probably not G because he might not be here. Just to clarify, because I don't know this. It wasn't strategic that you got banned from Disney World, right? You think I meant to get banned? No. <laughs> okay. Of course not. <laughs> Fair. I, mean, I made an April Fool's video talking about how Disney would never ban me. I thought there was no possibility it could ever happen. But and April like, Fools. Later <laughs> it definitely is Thanksgiving. This walkway right here is littered with people going to and from amazing rides. Speaking about amazing rides and just people, what does Disney mean to you? Wow. I know I hit you with a hard one that pretty was early in the not video what I too. Expecting. Disney to me is like my peace. Like I've never been happier than I was when I was in the program. Mm. And like ever since then, I've just been chasing that feeling again. Wow. Which is why like, I wanted to come back to Disney after I got uh, sent home from the college program because of COVID. And then like, after I got fired, like, even then, like, i am st still been chasing, which is why like, I've been trying, like, maybe New York will bring me that same piece. Maybe I go to Disneyland, that'll help. And I still just have not found it. So needless to say, you do want to be unbanned from Walt Disney World, hopefully one day in your life. Yeah. Well, you know, I only asked because some people might not know that. Yeah, of course. Like it, it was a huge learning experience and it sucks like I had to go through it, but like, obviously I want to get a band, like I would like to, I would like to live in Orlando. Now this is cool. They have a Halloween gift store in Islands of Adventure. However, because it's Christmas, they made it Krampus's boutique. So it's still spooky, but it also is Christmas. I haven't been there. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is such an interesting tree. This is Krampus's tree. This is lovely. It smells amazing in here. Hello, pumpkin. I know it's past your time, but it's good to see you. Oh, there's Krampus. Wait, what? Krampus? Right there. Oh. Rawr. This is my first time in Universal using my new Sony A7, and it is beautiful. I'm so glad I can fully capture all of the Wizarding World in one shot. With the Christmas lights, the castle in the distance, it's absolutely stunning. Have you seen Christmas yet here? Yeah, it's so cool to me to see like so many people like pulling out their phones like take pictures of this. That's I feel true. like we take for granted. Like, we we're do. Here all the time. We yeah, this. we just kind of pull up and we're like, hey, what's good? Yeah, but these people like they see them, they're like, 
Wow. Top three favorite rides in all of Universal, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motobike Adventure. It's at a 105 minute wait, and that's probably why I haven't been on it so long, because the line is always long. It's not just because of the holidays. I'm actually surprised it's not a longer wait time right now. I'm crazy if this is happy. Yeah, I called it! <laughs> I heard the music and I'm like, Jeet, I think fireworks are about to go You're off. Like a spice and some fireworks. <laughs> More fireworks? Wait. <laughs> we'll catch them later. Gosh. Wasn't that cool? Oh, There's no more. Oh, dang it. <laughs> they, they happen again though later. Okay, cool, we cool. have made it to the three broomsticks and luckily this doesn't have a line. This bar is so cool. You got the big hog head in the distance. Hey, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> That hog was just making noises. I caught the tail end of it. G ended up getting the hog's head beer. Did you get it because there's literally a hog's head behind this bar? I got it because I wanted something that looked cool. And that looked cool. That does look pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Has to take the selfie. Fun fact about these beers, you can only get the hog's head at this bar. Cheers. Cheers. Boop to a good two years of friendship and some drama. A little bit of drama, but much more friendship. Jeet, it's happening. So we've just been on. talking and drinking. Oh, there it goes. We're gonna get back to the interview in a second. There it is. Whoa! You ca you caught this time. Nice. I like fireworks. How's the beer? Oh, wait, Jeet, take it out. Another one's coming. Oh! Oh! oh. Did you get it? I got that one. Vlog exception. Vlog exception. Vlog exception right Whoa. here. Drinks were swell, right? Drinks were fantastic. I had to help you finish yours though. Yeah, I don't really like beer. You didn't but tell you, me that. You always buy me beer, so I, <laughs> I've just learned to get over it. <laughs> the big story, the reason why we're even filming this vlog is that, Jason, you were banned from Walt Disney World Resort. All the property. Wait, all, what, I was? Cra crazy, right? Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I wanna give you the time right now to just explain to everyone watching what happened? What was going through your mind? Okay, I'll give you like the condensed, detailed version. If you want like full context, I've already made a video about it. It's only like seven minutes long. I made four TikToks. Um, one about Disney security, one about Disney Castro parking lot, one about the wedding pavilion. It is wide open. Why? Why would you leave this wide open, Disney? For me, thanks. I appreciate it. Look at this. This is, this is where Disney weddings take place. And one about drinking water from the water fountains at Disney Springs. Buying water from everywhere in Disney Springs. They all went viral. And then I got fired for them. After I got fired for them, I then made another video about getting fired. I just got fired by Disney. <sighs> Let me try to explain what happened very quickly. So I called him for my shift. I went to my manager. I said, hey, what am I doing today? He said, actually, I need to go to the office with me. That video went even more viral than those ones. And also made those ones go even more viral because people wanted to know why I got fired. About a month goes by and I get banned. I went from 250,000 followers to a million within a month and a half. Like there was just no way for me to comprehend that type of success and like growth. I didn't have anyone to help me with it. And I also wasn't, I didn't make any money off those videos from like the TikTok creator fund. Like I was really doing those videos just to get views because like I looked up to like people like Logan Paul and Jake Paul like those people were like as long as you get views that's all that matters it doesn't matter how you get them until I got banned and I realized how my actions affect people closest to me that I am friends with and that I work with like Jojo and like my family who like they have to hear about it from their friends because they saw it on Facebook had to ask why did your son get banned from Walt Disney World like it's embarrassing and like it took me getting banned to realize that my actions reflect on people around me. Correct me if I'm wrong with any of these questions. Obviously, I'm actually conducting a little bit of an interview here. <laughs> More formal than we're used to. Yeah, we don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but you no, no, wanted the views. I, I didn't just like them. I loved them. So then after you got fired, were you like, hey, maybe I should chill? Or were you like, no? no? After I got fired, the huge thing, I went from an 11 million viewed video, 16 million, and the fired video was 23 million. Wow. In my head, I couldn't stop. I was on a roll. I was like, at this point, I have to keep going and up it each time. Oh. Which is why, like, I ran into trouble because in my head, it just meant 
up the video, do something more crazy, do something that will get more views. And there was never going to be an end to it. Regardless of how people were viewing those videos. Right. It's like, it's like running on a treadmill. Like trying to catch something that I would never catch. Interesting. You kind of poked the bear. Listen, I didn't just kind of poke the bear. I did. That was the plan. You made, like you said earlier in the vlog, you made an April Fool's joke about getting banned. Yeah. And in that same video, you talked about how they hired you as a social media representative. Sure did. Like I was doing Earth of My Power to get their attention and make sure that my name was always circulated with the Disney brand. Wow. And it worked. Dan knew about me. Before. Before I met him because of the, the video. I will have to say to all the people who don't realize Dan is my best friend roommate. Dan didn't like you at first. No one did. I don't blame them. Like I was like super cringy. I was just doing the reviews. Like I was a brat. Like I was just doing things for views. Like it was just You wanted a character. Oh my gosh. There's so many fireworks. So many fireworks. We saw it again. This is the third time. One more time. Boom. I think I'm getting good at timing that. We still have to go on that ride. I watch you guys on YouTube. I swear on everything. No way. I swear. <laughs> What's my name? You're not, I don't know. Bro. I swear. No, you no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. One of you guys tries to pull the sword at this one. That's me, that's me. Yes, I'm JoJo. I'm not gonna hold. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hug. <laughs> All the audio, my ears. Oh, nice to meet you. No, you're good. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Is, are they out? Is that, was that it? They just wanted to. No, I didn't pay them. Have a good night, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Anyway, always making new friends. We have Fernando right here. What's up, what's up? He was like, yo, I've yo, seen yeah, He watched my vlogs see. back in 2019. Yeah. yeah, it's good to see you, man. Hey, man, always good, man. Hey, happy yo, Thanksgiving. Vibes. That's happy what I'm trying to do. Thank, thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And thank you for working on the holidays. Hey, man, we do it for you guys. We do it for that. Awesome, we man. Share the smiles and Only a 15 minute wait. The castle looks spectacular with all the snow on it. You can see the signage for this ride really clear at night. Very pretty. One thing about this ride is the queue is so cool. You literally have a walkthrough of the castle. And I've never been able to bring my camera down here. We can get a good look at everything it has to offer. We got the mirror, it shows what you desire. Gee, what do you desire? It's probably you being unbanned from Disney, right? If, sure I, if, sure. if I had an editor right now, it'd be you eating a Mickey pretzel in front of the castle. I'll send you a picture, I'll send you a picture. <laughs> As a kid, I remember waiting over five hours for this ride when it first opened. Jeet, aren't you happy there's no line for this ride? No. <laughs> Normally, I'm not a fan of lines. However, comma, in this case, I would love if there was a line. So you would be like, oh, you know what, the line is too long. Let's just go do something else. I would be doing that. <laughs> Normally, I don't have a strong enough camera to record the castle because it's so dark, but this looks insane. That's Dumbledore's office straight ahead. Here's some crazy dude holding the castle. Gryffindor is winning right now. You know what's annoying? The only thing I didn't like about the whole series of Harry Potter is that they only put emphasis on these pebbles or dirt in the first movie. If only we could take a pluck of your hair and go back in time to see when you made the fatal decision that would get you into the position you were back then. Is that what this does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you take either a piece of your hair from your ear or your head you put it in there, and then you look in, and it's crazy. You go back in time. I've never seen Harry Potter. You've never? Right. I always forget you have it. You gotta see it, bro. Even on this ride, they have some Christmas decorations. A Christmas tree. I don't remember this. Oh, it's the sorting hat. And they got Christmas wreaths on the left and right. That's awesome. Gee, what house are you? Is that even a question? What is it? It makes sense. Even this room's insane of all the mirrors. You can see all the lights in the sky. Jeet! Are you ready? No, I don't want to do this. Well, we're doing it. Uh. High five. Oh my gosh, 
What a good time that was. G, how do you feel? Good time. How do you, how do you feel? Like I'm gonna throw up. I literally thought you were about to. As we were on the ride, I was like, oh man, he just drank that whole beer too. Yeah, that didn't help. If it was better for you, I'd probably be okay. But you did it, and now we're okay. And we saw the castle, really cool. High five. You know what, I was about to see a different castle. What? Oh, a different ca Magic Kingdoms, that's Cinderella that's castle. That's the one, that's the one. Maybe one day, buddy. I'm hoping. Maybe one day. I'm hoping. I have not been on Velocicoaster in so long, and it's only at a... Oh my gosh, how many times are we gonna see fireworks? Hey, G, did you know they happened twice? Wait, really? <laughs> nice, man. That, that looks sick. I didn't realize you were gonna oh, pull a boat, but thanks. I kinda caught a little bit of it. Anyway, do you wanna go on Velocicoaster? You like that ride. No, I don't like roller coasters. <laughs> Well, we're gonna have to go on it, but first, your boy has to go to the bathroom. Uh, I have to break the seal. Like, actually, no, it's really bad. Okie dokie, everybody. With four minutes left of the park being open, it's time to go on Velocicoaster, one of my favorite rides. It's been over uh, three months since I've been on it. Single rider is closed, but it's a 45 minute wait, and honestly, it doesn't look like a 40 minute wait. Do you think? No, it doesn't. Whoa, Coaster. What did the team member just tell us? That the wait is actually 20 minutes. They hiked it up to scare people away because they're all trying to go home. I love that. Which is totally fair. It's Thanksgiving. It's True. want to go home. Yeah, fair. Thank you to all of the Disney cast members and Universal team members for working on the holidays. I remember first coming onto this ride, seeing these dinos. They're so sick. This whole queue is next level. <laughs> Don't get scared. As someone who lives in Orlando, it's a shame that I haven't been here in so long. Oh my gosh. Look at these Velociraptors. We can see them in Hive Dad. This first time with the camera. Oh my god, look at him blink. He breathes the air on you. It's so spooky. Oh no. He's about to chase us down. So my camera's actually too big to fit in there. We're figuring out. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Hi. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at me. I don't know what's going on. Well, I haven't been in this elevator since Paula Abdul brought me on here. You've been in this elevator? Yeah. I've never VIP. Been in this so basically, they're bringing us up this way because they don't want us to put the camera into the locker. Shout out the team members, super nice. Well, this is sick. I've never actually vlogged up here because, you know, <laughs> you're not allowed to bring cameras up here. But this is the Velocicoaster track. They're about to take off. Can we see the roller coaster take off? Yes, we can. This ride is amazing. We They have bigger lockers up here. So shout out the team members. Thumbs up, Jeet. What a special day. And your tips. All right, go ahead. Oh, oh my God. Nice. Impressive. Happy Thanksgiving. What's your name? Calvin, you're awesome. I'm jealous of you. We have been making so many friends tonight and I love it. Happy Thanksgiving. What's your name? Morgan. And? BJ. Nice to meet you. We got BJ wearing the Mickey Mouse shirt looking fresh. And we got the Tiana crown. Very cute. Hey, what's one fun thing you've done today at Universal? This ride. Velocicoaster. I mean, how could you not, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. There we are. Jeet looking weird though. <laughs> I'm looking down. We were freaking out. It was fun. So the biggest consequence with the whole banning situation was I lost a lot of friends. Anything that was going to happen. A lot of like my friends were cast members and they just didn't agree with my actions and they were rightfully upset with you know, the way I was treating the Disney brand and like making it look bad. And then even going forward, like now, like I miss out on so many people's birthdays and so many people's first time experiences, so many people's last dinners. I just can't go to Disney. And like, it's not Disney's fault at all. It's mine. It took me a while, but like when I went on this, like I wouldn't say I went on this journey. It was almost like some day it just clicked. Like it was like self-discovery and like being able to humble myself and being like, yo, like, I'm not that big of a deal. They were completely right for doing what they did. Like my actions deserve these necessary consequences. Like firing and banning were absolutely necessary. Like I totally deserved it. The fact that I decided to like expose the Disney brand knowing that I signed a contract not to do so was in my head just like, oh, that's just good business. Like if you just 
do these things that will get views. Who cares if it's in a contract that you signed? Disney's not going to check up on you. You're just a small TikToker until it became a much bigger issue with 23 million views. And I wasn't such a small TikToker anymore. I was becoming Disney's biggest problem and making it known to them that I was the biggest problem by making videos saying, hey, my life is better without Disney. Hey, Disney has a security uh, detail oriented just for me when I walk into the park. Like, I was doing everything in my power to make it as big of a deal as possible. And like, I just finally realized like, it's just not that big of a deal. And like, I'm not big of a deal. And like, it's totally deserved. Like, I agree with that I should be banned. Do I think that it should be lifted? Yeah, eventually, obviously, I want to. I'm not gonna say no, <clears throat> but like, I definitely deserve to get banned for what I did. I've deleted almost all of my Disney videos from the past. Like all those TikToks, they're all gone. Like, yeah, I'm sure you can find them, but like on my account, they're all deleted because like, at first I kept them because like, it was my past. I'm like, I don't want to delete my past and act like it didn't happen. But now I'm like, those videos just are not who I am anymore. So when people saw them and they were still commenting on them, I was like, you're like a year removed from my life. Like you don't understand, like that's not me anymore. I've completely let go, I've moved on. And like people who, people have met me at bars and be like, you're the guy who drinks from the bar fountains. I hated you. I was in your comments t saying how much you sucked, how dumb you were. And they, they talked to me for like two minutes and they're like, let me buy you a drink. Like as soon as you get to know me, you're like, oh wow. You're not that bad. Agreed. And I think that's the point of this video. Yeah. If the banning was lifted, would you go back to creating content specifically in Disney? No. Well, no? No? Why? Yeah. Why would I go back to make so why, the same content that I got? So then I guess, why do you want to be unbanned from Disney? At the end of it, what's the point of all this? I just want to be able to go to Disney with my friends. Like you, like True. my family, when they come for the, their first times, like I want to experience that stuff with them. Like I just want to be able to have memories and that same peace and happiness that I used to have. Cause I haven't had it in years. No, no. <laughs> no, you're good. We have the security. Thank you, though. Thank you for letting us film. I just can't leave until you guys. No, okay. Well, we we want you to go home. We... <laughs> Which way should we go? This way? Yeah. I'll right. Give you guys the shortcut. Do you guys want to go the long way? No, no, no. <laughs> Everyone tonight has been throwing me off. They're like, let's take the long way. I just like the thing is like I don't want to make Disney content anymore because I just feel like it's almost disrespectful to the people who still make it. And like the way that I treated it in the past, I don't feel like I can go back and be like, hey guys, like everything's fine now, I'm unbanned. With that being said, I'm interested to see what's next for you. But, hey, I don't wanna know about it right now because our, our man's right here is walking us out <laughs> and he can't leave until we leave so we can pick up the pace a little bit. No, we'll you're fine. <laughs> Once we get to the end of this bridge, I'm gonna steal right behind you. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. This is a cool view of Universal, by the way. That was fun, right? Fun. That was fantastic. <laughs> Some would say Phantasmic. Something you haven't seen in three years either. Did you even see no, Phantasmic? I saw Disneyland. Oh well yeah, okay, you saw Disneyland, yeah. which is true. You guys should check out those vlogs by the way. They were They're wholesome. Good. They were wholesome. They were really good. They were a lot of fun. We did all the rides over there, which we should do all rides in Disneyland during Christmas. That's it. Now we're thinking. Now we're thinking. Now we're thinking. That's thinking. content right there. Come on. What's your name, buddy? My name is Boston. I love the channel. Um, yeah. Subscribe and hit the like button. There because we go. There we go. That's what these people are all about. You know, we out here. We posted in Orlando at Universal. Come out here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Have a good one. What a great guy. It was man, super this cool. This has been crazy. Really festive. Very you nice. Remember that kid who did a backflip? That was crazy. That was wild. <laughs> I wish I could do a backflip. Try it. No. Okay. <laughs> Universal's great movie, Escape. This is going to be themed escape rooms. We have Jurassic World right over there. Hard to see. And then we have Back to the Future. Will you come with me to this media event if they invite us? Or will you just come in general just to try it out? I mean, escaping from Jurassic World sounds a lot of fun. Listen. I've always been of the mindset that Universal has so much IP that they just don't use. This is a fantastic idea. Exactly. This is incredible. Cheers, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had a wonderful time. Now, this video is coming out a couple days after Thanksgiving, but happy holidays in general. Whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate, remember to tell your family 
and your close ones that you love them. G and I are going on a cruise, so if you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe. These adventures are just starting. It's gonna be a really fun time because Jeet's never been on a cruise. I see what they did here. Before it was the dead coconut club or whatever. Now it's the green and red coconut club. That's smart, I like that. Honestly, very good marketing. Let's go inside and check it out. Outside. I haven't been up here since 2019. This is huge. Yeah, because this place is closed for so long. Dude, this place is awesome. This is a vibe. We gotta get some friends and bring them back here. It would be nice if we just have friends up. Yeah. So you got a lot of views. It was crazy. It was fun. You didn't really care about what people thought about you. You didn't care what Disney thought about you. But it led to some consequences. You got banned. You lost friends. And it puts you on this route of self-discovery and understanding what you truly want from social media and your life. I just want to make videos and content that leave a positive impact on the world and people, like in general. Like, it doesn't matter to me if a video gets 10 million views. What matters to me is when I have people come up to me and say, hey, like, you changed my life. Or people Snapchat me and say, hey, like, you're the reason I want to work out. Or people text me and say, hey, like, I saw your video and made me want to get up in the morning. That is so much more meaningful to me than 10 million views. Like, don't get me wrong, like I still need views to get money and to like, to live. If I was to, you know, like obviously like God forbid, but, like die tomorrow, like I can say like I died happy. Like I did what I wanted to do. I left a positive impact and I'm good. As for the future, my plan is just keep making content. I want to do everything possible in, in the entertainment industry and beyond. I got ideas for inventions, man. I can't tell you all because I don't want you all to steal my ideas, but like I'm just saying, I got a lot of things I want to do. And like, this is just the beginning. Them banning you was probably the best thing that ever happened to you. No, it, it was. Yeah. There's no question about it, it was. Hands down 100%. Speaking of Disney though, this probably won't get that far. Probably get 10,000 views maybe, but if there's a Disney executive or someone higher up, maybe Bob Iger, the new elected Bob CEO. Bob <laughs> Not Bob Chapek for sure. Maybe. But Iger. Maybe. If you want to say anything to the Disney community in general, this is your one chance to talk to the people who low-key hated you, low-key did not respect your content, think you made a mockery of something that they loved. What do you have to say to that community? Because they love the channel and I love them. I know. So what do you have to say to them? All I have to say is, I respect you all so much for loving something and being so unapologetically your all yourself. The fact that you all just like the idea and like, have to deal with people's criticism of like, oh, you're a Disney adult, all this stuff. But it's just something that you love and you're generally passionate about, but you just don't care about what people's opinions are, and you still go for it. It's incredible, and it's inspiring. And like, I do feel like I need to apologize to you all because like, I feel like, not intentionally, but I definitely kind of like, hindered you all. Like, I didn't like, I feel like I did, did you all justice and like was the right person to represent you all. Like I, the fact that like I was doing all this Disney content, but like I wasn't doing it for the Disney brand. I was just doing it for my brand and using Disney as the vessel and Disney got hurt in the process. I feel like I have to apologize. So I'm sorry to Disney. I'm sorry to Disney, the Disney community. I'm sorry to you all. I'm sorry to Joe's audience that you all had to 
He was at me for a year. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, I love you all. And like, I really do. Like, I just genuinely love Disney. And like, trust me, just because I'm leaving Orlando doesn't mean I'm not going to go to Disneyland. Doesn't mean I'm not going to keep watching JoJo's vlog. Like, doesn't mean I'm not going to stay up to date on the Disney news. Like, trust me, like, I'm. I'm a Disney adult. Okay? Let's be real it's here. confirmed. Let's be real here. I'm making a going away video. If you want to watch the full context, go watch that on my channel. We're going on the Disney Wish. <laughs> In literally like three days. Hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good time, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. G, get in here. <laughs> I have seen a physical and both mental change in how G presents himself on social media. He does respect the company. No shade to anyone else in any kind of creative community, but out of anyone I've ever met, Jeep has shown the most progression, growth, maturity. He took accountability and grew from it, which is all we can ask for as a human being. You know, not even content creation. We've all made mistakes, but we've all grown from it. And Jeep should also be allowed to grow from it. Everybody deserves a second chance. Everyone deserves a second chance. And he's out here. And we're chilling. That's so. Fine. Boom. Remember guys, every day is a blessed day to be alive. My hand hurts from holding this camera Listen, so long. Listen, it's not goodbye. It's just see you later. So poetic. We should get Taco Bell. Yeah, that's great. Or McDonald's, okay. Yeah. Let's okay. get out of here. <laughs> Bye guys. What's up vlog? Oh my Ooh, gosh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally his voice in this song. On Amine's album, yeah. Sad on your mother effing birthday. Oh, I've listened to that song so many times and I didn't put it together when we just met him.